Hi, I'm Galen, and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to go over derma rolling. Uh, it seems like it's a heavily requested topic, and it's pretty essential if you want to get the fastest gains for your beard. So, might as well show you my process that I've been using, and hopefully it'll help all of you. Um, so just to make it nice and succinct, it is twice a week, and I do it Wednesday and Saturday in the evenings, and I don't put minoxidil afterwards, uh, but I do put on some Jamaican black castor oil um, to kind of moisturize my face. And supposedly, there is some hair growing attributes in the oil, so maybe um, I've seen results and it seems to work for me, uh, but hopefully you can kind of get an idea of my process with the later video. If you like this content, make sure to subscribe. Um, I'm trying to get up to 100, and I'll do a nice time lapse of all the photos I have currently. And if you like the content, make sure to give me a thumbs up. That really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. You guys have been awesome in sending uh, more comments lately, and I've been appreciating it. So without further ado, I'm going to show the footage. Hi, everyone. So I'm going to do the dermo needle process. Um, so a couple things that you'll need are some rubbing alcohol, and that is for if you use um, either the derma roller or the derma pen. I use the derma pen. Uh, I like to submerse this in the alcohol for um, three to five minutes. Um, so I'll probably do a cut and I'll come back to it. I'm going to put that in and add the rubbing alcohol. The other thing that I have is the derma pen. And you're interested in a type of derma pen similar to the one I use, I have a link down in my description. Um, same price, it's just if uh, you buy it, then I get a little affiliation fee at no cost to you. It's just if you're interested, um, that's the pen I would recommend. It's a little better than the one that I have. Um, mine's a little bit older. And so the derma pen has uh, some features uh, where you can kind of adjust how uh, the depth is for the needles. I currently have mine set to 1.75. Um, I started around 0.5 um, and then I worked my way up. Um, I would try to get to around like uh, 1 if you can. Um, it's gonna hurt. It stings, feels like a sunburn every single time. Um, but it does help with creating collagen under your skin um, that helps with the beard growth. So it's not so much that you're creating holes that allows the minoxidil to um, get into your skin. You're actually supposed to wait um, 24 hours before you apply the next round of minoxidil. Um, it's more of the microneedling it makes your skin generate more collagen, which is necessary for um, hair development, pretty much. And the other bit that I have is a giant bottle of... Um, Jamaican black castor oil. Uh, I bought a bunch of um, smaller bottles and just filled it into here. It's easier. And I usually let this sit on my skin for at least an hour after the derma rolling process. Um, and it helps moisturize the skin, but it also helps, uh, I find, generate more um, vellus hairs. And then the minoxidil kind of helps take those vellus hairs to the finish line and then that's you get a beard. So this is kind of my process. I started with just the derma rolling um, and then I kind of added the extra bits um, as I refined my process. This is kind of where I'm at right now. So I'll start and then you can kind of see um, how this all works out. All right, I'm gonna put this away. So take out your dermo pen uh, tip um, rinse it off. Um, usually any of those pens come with refills. Uh, those can be, I use them for about a month um, before I um, dispose of them and then get a fresh one. Um, usually kind of gets gunked up with, you know, the skin and um, dirt and grime and such. So, um, and they kind of feel a little duller. Uh, so I like to have the fresh tips. Otherwise, you will start to experience some acne. Essentially, you are puncturing your skin, um, so it can develop, uh, you know, infections, which essentially is acne. 
Um, not just to mention that the minoxidil also um, makes me more prone to acne, so trying to mitigate that as much as possible. So currently I have um, minoxidil and lotion on my face that I kind of let sit for about at least four hours. Um, it can be anywhere from four to 12 hours that I usually leave it on, um, depending on how busy I am. So I'm gonna wash that off and then we'll move on to the dermonedling. So wash your face nice and thorough. And once you rinse that off, I have a dedicated towel um, that I use purely for minoxidil, um, mostly so that I don't give other people a beard in this house that they don't want it. So now minoxidil has been washed, washed off. I have the dermal pen. Again, it's currently set to 1.75. Um, the cool thing about these pens is instead of the dermo roller, which kind of makes diagonal cuts into your skin, this will go directly in. Um, so there's less chance for pulling and tearing out the hairs that are you're trying to grow, right? Um, and the other cool thing is that it also has different settings for speed. I usually put it setting two. I don't know how many RPM that is, but um, that seems to be a good pace for me. And then if I ever want to you know, up the level, I will um, just raise the depth, which it will go into. So now I will just kind of go along skin um, and kind of wherever I would like to have facial hair, is where I will be derma rolling. I don't derma roll my eyebrows because um, it seems that the skin in that area is a little more um, sensitive, so I actually do break out in a little bit of a rash. So I decided that I was just going to do minoxidil only on my eyebrows. And now I will, so now I only focus doing the beard area. So I'll actually hold this so you can see process and I'll use this like a mirror. So again I do this pass about five times on, in every area. Kind of making sure that I cover all the areas that I'm intending. And what I like to do is break it up into sections. So I do the cheeks, then I do like the mustache area, and then I do the under lip, and then I do the jawline. And you can even break that up into more sections. So you can do like kind of the sideburn area, the cheeks, the under lip, the mustache, and then other cheek other sideburn, and then the underside of the jaw. So, and you can handle it, then go nice and slow, and really let those needles sink in. It does hurt a lot. So you kind of get used to it. It does get easier as your skin gets tougher or more used to having the microneedling. So I do uh, kind of horizontal, and then I'll do rounds of up and down, vertical. And since I did vertical on the sideburns, I will do horizontal on the sideburns this time. By the end, you will look nice and red if you're doing it right. Um, some people say that you actually might bleed. Um, I actually have found that I don't. I just look like I got severely burned and it will feel like a little bit of a sunburn. Be sensitive for maybe 12 hours. So kind of be prepared for that. So I've kind of done this area. Um, you can go back over with a diagonal if you'd like. Um, I sometimes am compliant with that, but not always. 
And then now I'll do the underlip. So as I make my way across, this is kind of the area that I want to focus on. So I'm going to really focus on that area. And the whole process probably takes around like 15 minutes. Um, if you're really going slow, you can shorten it if you need to, if you don't have the time. But some dermal needling is better than none, so. Um. And I personally turn my head to kind of derma needle. Um, helps save, save my arm strength. I'll do the mustache area now. This is the worst part. Kind of do the up and down, kind of like a zigzag pattern. Uh, I want to focus a little higher to raise the mustache up. I'll do the other side. And right along the lip is where it really hurts, so. Again, do up and down, and then left and right. I'm also working, focusing on the connector areas. Let's be real, it's, you're trying to grow a beard, so you're going to focus on all the areas. Some will have more focus than others. Okay, and then we'll go to the other cheek. This side's the weaker side for me now than this side, so I, I'm trying to make sure that I line it up correctly. And I have a ball, more like lighter patch right around here, so I do take a little more focus to make sure that I do hit that area. Just go left and right. Make sure to do the sideburn. Here's another light area that I'm trying to focus on to make sure that I get a full connection. Up and down. And I do the derma needling um, twice a week. Uh, so once on Wednesday and once on Saturday. And on those days, I will only do one minoxidil of application and that's in the morning and then I do the derma rolling in the evening. And I can do the up and down. I will be honest, I will not miss this, um, and as soon as I can be done with derma rolling, I will. <laughs> Okay, and now let's do the underside. So I kind of stop where I want the beard to stop. I really don't want to be mucking around with uh, dealing with uh, shaving up the neck if I don't have to. And since I started with no facial hair whatsoever, I have the beauty of deciding how my beard will look. So why not make it near perfect if I can, so I could have 
low maintenance and I can grow it out and it'll be perfect. from the get-go. And you can see there's two weaker areas on this side and this side, um, but they're slowly migrating towards the other dark area on the, on the ends. So hopefully when they meet, I will be done with the bigger journey. And even though there's a uh, darkest spot is under the chin, I still make sure that to go over that area. Can't be forgetting about those areas because um, if you've been following this beer journey, um, you know that my weaker side became now the stronger side, probably because I put more focus into it, so, or less focus into the stronger side. So now this side's the weaker side. All right, I think we're just about wrapping up. I want to just put a little more focus on the connector areas because it's a little sparse right underneath the mustache. Of course, you can't tell because the hair is long there. Do some more color. All right. So that is the end of the derma rolling bit. So what I will do is put the dermal plane head back into the alcohol. Put this back inside its case. And now I'll take the um, Jamaican black castor oil. I will add essentially like a teaspoon. Again, you don't have to use very much. Um, like that is more than enough. Add a little bit more. There we go. So maybe like a teaspoon and a half worth. Um, just rub whatever remainder of it off. And I just kind of rub it fully on my hands and I will just line the beard area. Any of the excess, I will put on the mustache area, like so. And then I also put remainders on the eyebrow area. Again, you don't need much. You don't need to soak yourself in the oil. It's just to get enough coverage. And then any remainder, I just kind of rub up into the hairline. If it works, it works. If not, then whatever. But it's just, don't want to waste any bit of the oil if you don't have to. And just be aware that this oil is very sticky. So um, just make sure that you wash it off real well before. Uh, you touch anything because it does have an orange tint and it will stain things. I'll wipe that off. And voila! That is the end of the derma needling process. So I hope this is helpful to you because uh, it took me a lot of trial and error to kind of figure out a method that works for me. Um, Hopefully that works for you. So uh, I highly recommend derma needling if you haven't done that already. It uh, I probably took three months before I started doing it on myself, and I saw a lot of progress after I started derma rolling. So um, make sure that you do it. If you don't, um, it does hurt, but uh, beauty is pain, right? So hope you stay strong and catch you later, dude, brother.